Hi, today we learn a falsetta in the style or palo of Buleria. To give it a context, we'll also add two compa before it. The falsetta is a simplified version of one played by Sabicas, and I chose it because it includes a couple of things that are very good to practice. As we see, the movements of the thumb are preparatory to one of the greatest flamenco techniques, the alzacua. Actually, there isn't a full alzacua phrase, but you have to strum a couple of beats in a way that comes from such technique. So let's listen to it. Ok, time to learn, but before we start, just a quick note. Remember that the Buleria Compa is in 12 and can either start on beat 1 or 12, like in this case. Accents are on beats 12, 3, 6, 8 and 10. Also, you can think that half of the Compa has a ternary subdivision from 12 to 5 and half has a binary subdivision from 6 to 11. These are called in Spanish Medio Compa. This is a Buleria por Medio, so the key is A Frisian. Of course, you don't need to know or remember all that I just said. It was just to give a little bit of context. So let's start with an A major chord using a typical flamenco fingering with middle finger on string 2, second fret, and a small bar on strings 3 and 4 with the index finger. We strum upwards with the index on beat 12, then a golpe on beat 1 downbeat. We strum upward again with the index on beat 1 upbeat and another golpe for the whole beat 2. Now we have a B flat chord, so bar the first fret, strings 1 to 5, and put middle, ring and pinky on fret 3 of strings 2, 3 and 4. The right hand pattern is just like before, and now we have an A major chord on beat 6, strummed upwards with the index. So these bars sound like this. Then we have a golpe on beat 7 downbeat, strum upwards with the index on its upbeat, the same for beat 8. We have a rasgado quadruplet on beat 9, so place index and middle fingers behind the thumb, like this, close ring and pinky in the palm, rest the thumb on the 6th string and stick out the fingers, at the right tempo of course. Strum up with the index on beat 10, and finally a golpe on beat 11. The second compa is a variation on the first one where we change beats 7 to 9. On these, in fact, we play rasgado redondo triplets. For the rasgado redondo, you play triplets by strumming up with the thumb, down with the ring finger and down with the index finger. The movement is in the wrist, so keep the arm resting on the guitar and rotate it like this. 70 ta, 80 ta, 90. So let me play both compa very slowly. The falsetta starts on the next beat 12. We have an F major chord, and here is the first tricky part. You have to strum strings 6, 5 and 4 with the thumb. For this reason, you don't have to put down the whole bar. For some people, it's easy, for others, it's not easy at all, because sometimes they miss one of the strings, sometimes they strum more than three. If this is your case, don't worry, just take your time and practice very slowly to increase the precision of the strum. After it, we play fifth and fourth strings on beats one and two with the thumb using rest strokes, and remember that in flamenco, the thumb plays almost always with the rest stroke to highlight bass notes. Also, notice the asterisk, it means that we should add a golpe, so it's like this. Then we remove the pinky and put the middle on 4th string 2nd fret, so the chord becomes an F major 7 and we do the same. Strum strings 6, 5 and 4, this time without a golpe. Then we play strings 5 and 4 on beats 4 and 5. 
Until here, we had all quarter notes. Now we have eight notes, so each one lasts half a bit. We play open fourth with the thumb, hammer on the second fret, and pull off to play the open D string again. Then C, fifth string, third fret, and we repeat the eight notes again. Then we repeat all. We strum again the F, we play 5th and 4th string, we strum the F major 7 chord as before, and now the falsetta changes. We strum strings 6, 5 and 4 for a G minor chord, so 6th string, 3rd fret, 5th string, 1st fret, and open 4th string. Then a quarter rest, a golpe, another quarter rest, and another golpe. We put middle, ring and pinky on the 3rd fret of strings 4, 3 and 2. And we strum downwards with the thumb adding a golpe. While you do that, prepare the index on string 4 fret 2. So, pull the middle finger off and also put the index off. These three rhythms are all quarter notes, so each lasts for a beat. Prepare again the index on string 4 2nd fret, ring and pinky on the 3rd fret of strings 3 and 2, and do the same. Strum downwards with the thumb and da de golpe, pull the index off, and play the C at 5th string 3rd fret with the thumb. Remember the rest stroke. And now a touch of alzacua. We play all 8 notes. Prepare ring and pinky on the 3rd fret of strings 3 and 2, strum downwards and upwards with the thumb, add the golpe to the 1st strum. Then keep the fingers down and continue with the thumb to play a B flat 5th string 1st fret, hammer on the 5th string 3rd fret with the middle finger, and strum downwards and upwards again. C with a pull off to B flat, A open 5th string, golpe, and finally strum upwards an A major chord with index. So these last bars sound like this. That's it. See you for the next video and enjoy practicing. Ciao!